Phrase Express can extract specific cells or a range of cells from your independent Excel spreadsheets. For example, a specific part number, like this one, in the second column and fourth row. Now let's see how this is done in Phrase Express. First of all, I create a new phrase and give it a distinctive name. To insert external data, we need to choose a macro function from the section external data and then Microsoft Excel cells. Then specify the Excel spreadsheet file and then the desired row, which was the fourth row and the second column. If you have multiple spreadsheets in one file, you can define it here. And you can also extract a range of cells if you enter the coordinates here and here. And you will notice that you can additionally specify separators for columns and rows, which will be put between each cell. We don't need this here, so I'll remove this. When pressing OK, Fresh Express will create the macro function which will do the job. We can add additional static text to it. Let's try it out. I call the phrase. And Phrase Express will dynamically load the Excel spreadsheet in the background and extract the specified cell. But that's not all. You can do a lot more in Phrase Express. Here's our Excel spreadsheet again. Imagine you're prompted to enter a specific product, and Phrase Express would return its corresponding part number, destination, and availability. Let's see how this is done in Phrase Express. What we need is a function that scans all rows of the Excel spreadsheet and returns the number which contains a search term. What a coincidence, we have exactly that. To apply it to our existing phrase, we would need to remove the static value here, which determines the row to output, and replace it with a special function, which is also located under external data. You can have Phrase Express find for specific Excel columns and rows. That's what we need. Now specify the Excel spreadsheet file again. And here you're prompted to enter the search text. Of course, it doesn't make sense to enter a static search term here because you want to be prompted for the name whenever you call the phrase again. So we would need to insert another macro function, which you can do by right clicking into the input box and selecting user input, manual text input. Then you specify the header. And as the products are single line, you can restrict it to a single line and you can also apply a syntax check. So you only want the user to enter text. That's it. Now the input macro is embedded into the find Excel row macro function. When I press OK, Fresh Express will insert the two additional macro functions we just specified. Now it's important to understand that in most cases, Fresh Express executes macro functions from the inside out. So it will start with the macro function input first and prompts the user to enter the product name. This input will be passed to the get XLS row macro, which will return the row number which contains the entered product name. And this information is processed by the macro function XLS, which will return the contents of the specific row. And we need to tweak that. So I double click on XLS to open the dialog. And for the corresponding product, we need the part number, destination and availability which is contained from column two through four. So that's what we enter here, from column two to column four. And we want to have it separated by a comma and a space character. That's it. Now let's change the text and try it out. I call the macro function and as expected, I'm prompted for the product name. I type in beer, for example. Then Fresh Express loads the Excel spreadsheet, looks for the row which contains the word beer, and outputs column two through four of the specific row, and everything is separated with a comma and a spacebar. This gives you a powerful function to combine static phrases with external data, which perhaps may be created from a database.